In this video, you will learn how to install and play Pokemon Unite on your PC and also key mapping your game for the best experience. Because Unite is a mobile game, key mapping will assign your keyboard and mouse to this game's controls so that you can play it just like a normal computer game. Let's start by opening Google and search for Memo Emulator. It should be the first link to show up and we are going to download it. Memo is an Android emulator, just like Bluestacks and others. If you want to use Bluestacks though, it's fine, but I personally have better experience with Memo. After downloading, we are going to run the installation. Be careful, if it asks you to install anything else, like here it's asking me to install Avast, just decline or skip all. This should start the installation. After it's done, just click on finish, which should also launch Memo. Now, before we continue, we should take a look at the settings of this emulator. If you go to this menu up here, select the settings and something like this should show up. For this video, these are the settings that I am running. Tablet with 180p, 60fps and for performance, I am using the top one. But maybe your PC isn't so good, so remember that you can always lower both of these options. So for example, I suggest lowering the CPU first to medium or so, and if your PC is still running slow, also lower the tablet display to something lower, or even lower your FPS. Now, let's download Pokemon Unite. You just need to go over here to the Play Store and after logging with your Google account, you should see something like this. Search for Pokemon Unite and download it. Now we press on play, the game should download some updates and forces you to check the terms of use and privacy notice. And after you enter any of those buttons, you just need to click on the emulator button to go back. If this is the first time creating an account, it usually takes you to the tutorial and this is where you want to do our key mapping. On the right side of the emulator, click on the key mapping icon and if you don't see it here, it should be on those three dots menu down here. Once you open, you can see a menu full of options and we are going to select the MOBA mode. This will put a bunch of keys over your game. I personally like to have the space bar as my auto attack, so I changed it. To change one of the keys, you just need to click on the circle and press any key that you would like. The good thing about this MOBA mode is that in-game you can move your character using your mouse right click, just like you do in League of Legends for example. Some tips before you leave the video. After the tutorial, the game takes you into a normal match. Use this time to go to your in-game settings and set your frame rate to high if you would like to. This should make your game smoother. Some Pokemons have skills that you can aim instead of just using the game's auto-aim system. So, for that, we can use the skill attack button. This way, you can press and hold a key that you like using your mouse to aim the attack and releasing the key to release the attack. And last but not least, remember that you can either lower the opacity of your key mapping or even once you memorize all the keys, you can just simply not show it at all and play your game without having all of those keys on top of it. Leave a like if this was helpful for you, comment for the YouTube algorithm and thank you for watching.